Welcome back to another video, my brothers. Today's video is inspired by a conversation that I had with a friend of mine yesterday about how negative a lot of men are towards women these days. And this is largely impacted by the plethora of red pill content creators who spew this just hate and this just doom and gloom and women only want you for your money and the, they'll all divorce you and all this stuff. And honestly, I was just talking to my friend yesterday about how pathetic all of those videos are. It's ridiculous, man. And it does have a negative impact on you. You know, I speak to guys on a regular basis on Instagram and through my coaching calls and a lot of them just sound deflated. It's because of all the garbage they've been consuming from all these content creators. I'm a very optimistic individual and you will never see a video on my channel where I get into women's virginity and body count. I just don't touch on those subjects because the way I see it is there are good women and there are women that aren't going to be good for you. Look, a woman's entitled to live how she wants to live and it's up to you as a man to find a woman that is compatible with you that shares similar life, you know, goals and core values to you. But when you consume all of these videos about, oh, if her body count is it, uh, it just makes you a negative bastard. And you start fearing women. And there's a saying, whatever you focus on, you attract. So if you focus on how women are, you know, horrible and how they're going to take advantage of you, well, they will take advantage of you. You have attracted that situation. And alternatively, if you focus on how there are lots of good women out there and how you are a man of value and that you will meet a good woman who shares similar core values to you, then you will. I mean, it's, it's a simple... I mean, it's, it's, you've got to look at it from a very simple perspective. Whatever you focus on, you attract. But to sit here just consuming this negativity, it will fuck you up, man. It really will. You know, I've got guys now that are Muslim, Christian guys who should believe in marriage. I now say, nah, man, fuck marriage, man. And I get it, man. You've got to be careful and you've got to set yourself up so that you're not taken advantage of, of course. But now guys are turning their backs on marriage. And now they see marriage as a bad thing when, if you're a religious person, it's something that you should, you know, pursue. You should be a married man. A lot of religions forbid sex before marriage and stuff like that. And I'm saying if that's, if that's the way you choose to live your life, if you're a Muslim like I am or if you're a Christian or whatever faith you have that encourages marriage, that's, that, that's an avenue that you should pursue. That's the way God intended it to be, Right? No, I get it. Not everybody's going to choose that lifestyle and you're entitled to go whichever direction you want to go. But don't be put off from something as beautiful as marriage because some guy on YouTube who got broken up with four years ago is now making content to help men. He's not helping you. He's making you fearful. He's making you anxious. You know, you go out on a date with a woman and you know you're, you're looking for red flags you know and you're not going out to have a good time and you know enjoy yourself you're going there and you're fearful you're clenching your fists in fear that oh no what if what if she says something what if she slept with this many i mean it's ridiculous man choose to focus on the good there are good women out there. You know, because look, I don't like it when women say all men are trash and stuff. I find that cringe. Pathetic. It's stupid. And so when guys start saying oh, all women want you for it, it's stupid. Okay, you sound hurt. And I know women use that phrase a lot. Who hurt you? Well, I mean, in some cases, they're right to use that phrase. Okay? So be careful, man. The red pill... You know, they'll say things like, 
she's not yours. It's just your turn. It's just a pathetic thing to say. And I saw a video the other day um, on Instagram. Some guy was saying, you must prepare for a woman to leave you. I ain't preparing for shit. I'm living my life as a high value man. I'm doing the things that I know I should be doing every single day, working out, focusing on my business. I'm not going to prepare for a woman to leave me. Right? I'm going to live my life as a man of strength, as a man of class and integrity. If she decides to come into my life and contribute and make my life better by providing value in the same way that I will provide value to her life, great. We share similar core values. That's going to be a beautiful relationship. If she decides that, you know what, he's not the right guy for me, I'm not going to be angry. I'm not going to be resentful and I'm not going to insult her. No, it's just the way it is. I'm not going to prepare for a woman to leave me. I get what this person was trying to say about, you know, making sure that you're not taken advantage of, etc. But the way they phrase it, man, is fucking corny. Stop recycling those quotes. Right? If your parents are married and they've been married for 30 years, man, that's how you, that's who you should be looking up to. That's how you, sh that's the person that you should be, or, or the people that you should be seeking advice from, your parents. Right? And I know the dynamics changed and we live in a new world and you've got to be extra careful, etc. And people have an abundance of options. I get that. But don't be moving with fear, man. Live your life. Seek to become a man of strength. Work out. Get in shape. Work on your business. Improve your finances. And you know what, man? There's a great woman out there for you. But to live in fear and, oh, that she's going to use me and abuse me and she's going to exploit me and take advantage of me and she's probably slept with this many. It's just stupid. Fucking unsubscribe from all of these pages, man, that are making you feel bad. I mean, I've had these conversations with guys and they tell me, you know what, man? I started to watch these videos about uh, you know, pick up and, you know, these guys talking about virginity and body count and all these podcasts that are popping up left, right and center these days. And these guys are telling me how it's negatively impacted the way they feel about relationships. I believe in helping men move in such a way to where they're not taken advantage of because certainly there are plenty of men out there who do get taken advantage of by women. So my content is designed to help men recognize their value, but it does not, it is not created to make men afraid of women or, you know, uh, talk down about women. Not at all. Men and women complement each other. We're better together. Absolutely we are. And you know what? Women are extremely valuable in life. You know, I know a lot of people say, yeah, but men, we built the world. Yeah, but you know, women are very important. In their own way. We're different. I don't believe we're the same. We're certainly different. But to say that women aren't as important as men is not the right thing to say. You know, shout out to all the mothers out there who, you know, struggled raising four or five kids uh, alone without the father in the house. Because there are a lot of scumbag dads out there who don't embrace their masculine role and leave the kids and treat the women badly. So, you know, you've got to give the mothers props. And in Islam, in my faith... You know, it says that heaven lies under the feet of your mother. So if you treat your mother well, that's a fantastic avenue to go down. That will please the Almighty and your father, of course. Okay, but don't be talking down about women, man. Some of you guys, you've got sisters, you know. Would you like if somebody talked down about them? Yeah, you're, you're irrelevant. You're not important. No, they are important and they are smart and they are intelligent. You know, I see a lot of guys saying these are oh, women are dumb, they're stupid, they don't know anything about this. And mate, there are some incredibly intelligent women. And in fact, I think academically women do better than men. So to sit here and say women are stupid, women are this, stop taking on board all of this bullshit that these guys are saying to you in these videos, man. Women have a place in society, a very important place. Okay, we are better together. Embrace your masculine role. And let the women go out there and provide their own value and embrace their feminine role. Okay? But don't be talking down about women. Stop watching these red pill videos, man, that are making you angry and anxious. With that being said, thank you very much for watching this video. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button down below. Share your thoughts.
Let me know what you think down below. Did you also experience that as well? Did you experience anxiousness when you started watching these red pill videos? Did you feel some form of resentment towards women? Because they feed into that shit. They get your ego going. Yeah, she left you. She left you because of this. Nah. Listen, man. She might have left you because you were a dickhead. You know, I look back at some of my previous relationships and I put my hand up and admit that, you know what? I wasn't perfect. I made mistakes. There are certain things that if I could go back in time, I would change, of course. You know, but to sit here, oh, she left you because you're broke. No, that's not the only reason. If, if, you, didn't, if you lacked ambition and you were laying on your couch jacking off all over yourself, she has every right to leave you. Come on, man. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.